so so many people wanted to know why I feel the way I do about the men of Omega Sci-Fi. And I'm going to tell y'all why I feel like all cues do is snatch souls. I'm going to tell y'all my very first encounter that I had with a man of Omega Sci-Fi. So this was in 2015. I had just graduated, you know, class of 2015. <laughs> just graduated, you know what I'm saying? Just you know it was the day of graduation so you know i'm hype i got my diploma i got I, look my cap was still on i was ready okay i was ready that was the best day of my life because i was ready to graduate and you know my people call me up you know after i had got done being with the fam and everything my people call me up they was like hey yo bro we finna head out to this party you try and come this college party so you know me i had to you know make my way to the like let's go so i made my way to my car because you know this is my first little you know my real college party i didn't party a lot in high school so i was like okay i just graduated high school i gotta make some shake i gotta make some things happen so that's what i decided to do i decided to make some things happen so you know, I dressed up, got all cute, you know what I'm saying? Face was beat, you know what I'm saying? Glow was on point, smile was, you know, I was ready. I was ready, it was like me and like four of the people. Nobody told me that there was gonna be fraternity boys there. Nobody told that to me. So let's just keep that in mind as we go through the story. Nobody told me that they were gonna be there. So we get to this dude house and we chilling, everybody, you know, everybody, Hey, you know, watch me, you, watch me, you, turn up, turn up, ah, brr, uh, uh, brr, brr, ah, I got bras in Atlanta, da, 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 da. And everybody turning up, everybody turning up, so you know what I'm saying, I'm turning up, cause I'm like, eh, 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 you know, I'm cute, you know what I'm saying, so, you know what I'm saying, it's loud, and all of a sudden, I hear this loud bark, I'm not gonna, you know, what? I'm not going to reciprocate the bark because I don't want to be disrespectful to them and I don't want them to beat my A word. There are children that watch this. I'm not going to cuss. But. So, I hear just this loud bark. And so, you know, I stop because I'm afraid of dogs. So, I stop. I'm like, yo, you know, I don't know whose dog that is, but somebody needs to get it because I'm not really too fond of animals. Like, who who let the dogs out like is bow out here like who did this who they need to put the dog back in because i'm not with it and so you know i you know kind of just brush it off and continue dancing and i'm like okay let me uh. so i hear it again and i'm like okay i know i'm not crazy now because i heard it again i heard it twice that that was, it was twice and it was louder this time it was like there was more of them and if there are more of them than there were in the beginning then we're gonna have to do something about that because i'm not about to get bit so you know i'm looking for higher ground so that i can hop up when the dogs come little did i know got thirsty just thinking about it so dogs come you know what i'm saying i'm dancing da, 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 all of a sudden everybody starts moving out the way i'm like oh snap they finally saw the dog so i'm looking everybody's like moving so i'm like the only one in like this so like it's like everybody is you know scrambling around and i'm still like oh snap which side do i go to which side do i go to i turn around baby when i tell you there was a grown man he was about about seven foot eight about seven foot eight dark bald with a beard he had on this little half cut shirt that had all this cut off right here in the sides he was big and built and all of a sudden i turn around and he leans down and right in this 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 area right here this is where he go, he just and immediately as he's neck rolling, I feel my soul, my aura, my the being of who I am just leave my entire body and just flow into his. Like I, I literally felt it. Like I it was like it was like like it was just it was gone. And I was like, 
oh my gosh and then he just pushed me out the way i was like why would you do that to me why would you why would you why would you make my soul your own and then just and then just throw me away why would you do that i didn't understand and you know they did about five five or six laps you know doing all that you know what i'm saying you know i'm not gonna reciprocate what they said because again i don't want to get don't want them hands but yeah so mind y'all this whole the whole rest of the party i'm looking for this one guy like i am searching for him because i want my soul back like that's disrespectful like you're not about to just take my soul and then just leave like you're not gonna do it i just i won't allow you to do that i'm gonna need my soul back so i'm looking for him the whole party i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking and finally i spot him right so I spot him in across the room, and all of a sudden, I got tensed up. I was like, oh, snap. Now I'm nervous. I didn't actually think I was going to see him. So I spent the whole rest of the party staring at him from across the room because I was too afraid to say something to him. This was before I even got to college, before I even stepped on the campus of Alabama State University. My soul was snatched by a cue. This is why I no longer, and we didn't even, like, we didn't even have sex. We didn't kiss. We didn't have sex. We didn't do anything like that. Like, it was literally just a neck roll. And my soul was not my own anymore. And so for those of you who continue to wonder why I say that Q snatched souls like no other, um, that's why. That That's the reason. Because I still don't have a soul. Like, I pray continually every single day for God to just restore my soul and for him to just bring it back to my body because I'm still without a soul you know he just he has my soul and I think I think that's what Q, I think that's what cues eat like how they stay so you know how they stay so like them is because they snatch souls and that's their energy you know like they they take the energy of of females and then they just put it into their own bodies and that's how they you know continue to thrive and continue to live that's just my theory on dogs so but um if you want to hear more of my stories more of my life stuff like that then like this video don't forget to subscribe and share this video with everybody i'm in a car yeah why am i in a car my dad's actually in rooms to go getting furniture for the new house so i just decided i would do a little story do a little do a little something, something for y'all you know what i'm saying so yeah, um, like I said, like, subscribe, share, uh, I love you guys. Baby, come on by, I teach you how to fly, I can be your superhero. Baby, come on by, I teach you how to fly, I can be your superhero. Yeah, when I was 13, I thought I could fly, right?